In this episode it's all about preparing the DAW 335 for the subsequent weathering steps. So we're going to clear coat, adding decals, painting the stencils with self-made masks, adding a panel line wash and giving the surface a nice finish for the upcoming chips and oils. The workflow is pretty straightforward, so we start with a gloss coat. I use the Intermediate Gaussie from AK Interactive. I spray it unthinned over the model with a bigger needle, like 0.3 or 0.4 with about 10 to 15 psi. I spray it until the surface has a good coat over it. Then as a second step I take my flexi file polisher and use the grey side on the surface of the model. As a third step I spray again a good coat of Gauzy Clear over the surface with the same settings on my airbrush as before. Now some of you think that this step is not necessary, but as I always have problems with silvering decals, I think with a gloss coat I can minimize this risk. And it is easier to apply the panel line wash over a gloss coat. Let's continue with the decals from Tamiya. They are on the thicker side, but nicely printed. To cut them out, I use a fine scissor. The tools I use for applying decals is a USB mug warmer to keep the water lukewarm, a cup with distilled water and the micro setting solution from Microscale. I apply this solution generously with a brush, then I apply the decal, removing the water first on a paper towel. After, Placing it with a toothpick, I use a cotton bud to soak up the excess of water and setting solution. And if the decal is on a surface with rivets or panel lines, I apply some pressure to it. After the decal has dried for several minutes, I brush on the microsol to soften the decal that it conforms to the aircraft surface. I repeat this step for every decal. As I'm applying the decals, you could subscribe to keep updated about all my new uploads, which are coming almost weekly, and leave a like or a comment about what you like or dislike in the video series. There are now more than 400 subscribers on this channel, which support and motivate me to produce new videos and sharing my within progress with you. Wow, thank you very much. It is so nice to get in touch with you guys and share some lines about colors, thinners, models and stuff. Thank you so much for your support. What should I do if I get 500 subscribers? If someone is interested in this DAW 335 after it's finished, I could give this away. Okay, now back to the markings. I made some stencils from masking tape using a very fine pen. Then I sprayed the markings with unthinned Insignia White from Mr. Paint. It is very difficult to apply the mask in its corresponding place. And I made a mistake cutting out the stencil on the top surface, as you can see. But it is easily corrected with additional masking tape. I think in the future I will always use stencils for such big markings. They are so much nicer than decals, even when they aren't cut out very nice. You can correct small mistakes with something pointy like a toothpick and scrubbing it off from the clear surface.
Then after applying all decals and markings, I paint some clear intermediate gauze over it to prepare them for the panel line wash and that they blend in a little bit better. The panel liners are pretty handy enamels. For this camo, I used the panel liner for brown and green camouflage. You just paint them with a brush over the panel lines and rivets. Sometimes the capillary actually pull the paint along the lines, sometimes you have to brush it on. After several minutes you can very easily wipe off the excess with a cotton bud. Just give it enough time to dry, like half an hour or you will wipe away the enamel when it is still a little bit wet. I wipe the excess away without any thinner on the cotton bud. I used the ultra matte varnish from AK Interactive to prepare the aircraft for the next weathering steps, like chipping and working with oil colors. For these steps, the surface has to be more gripping than a glossy surface. So I spray the matte varnish unthinned from the bottle. I spray as much until I'm happy with the result. But if you spray too much, the surface gets a chalky look, as you can see. But now the surface is ready to apply the chips and work with oils. That is very nice of you for watching the video until the end. Check out my Instagram account Air and Ground in Scale to see more pictures directly from my workbench and I would be happy to welcome you to the next episode. So have a great Sunday and a great start into the new week. Best regards, Leon.